Hi there, I'm Darren McDermott and you're watching Dukascopy TV for a market update. Well, we have US home sales, the Fed minutes and of course some European data out this week. But all eyes have been on the euro dollar due to Draghi's recent comments about potential easing in June. I have Jean-Francois from MJT in the studio. Welcome today. Hi Darren. So Jean-Francois, give us your views on what's happening in the markets. Okay, well we're back on the Ducascopy mosaic Great. and here we have a euro dollar cable, Australian dollar gold, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, uh, three months S&P futures and three months treasury futures. And as I said, we're going to start with the euro dollar. Now we've been um, saying that we thought that on our daily charts, which uh, have a time horizon which uh, prospects to uh, several months ahead, one to three months, that uh, we had been exhausted for quite some time and we were expecting some kind of a consolidation. Last week, our hourly charts had gone through their corrective targets and were pointing down to impulsive targets. So uh, we're further downside into the low 36 area, um, uh, levels. Um, I just want to quickly come back to the weekly, which uh, is still in an uptrend. And so uh, we are not confirming a major reversal from here, which will probably, which could gradually come with our, our daily turning down. But at the moment, we must say that uh, any, any uh, uh, guidance here would, would be given with, with the context of the weekly being still in an uptrend. Now let's focus on the daily. As we had seen, uh, the daily had seen multiple stresses on our envelopes, meaning that uh, the short-term trend represented here by the white envelope had, had hit against the longer-term trend quite a few times. This usually signals intermediate top tops, and as they accumulate, more and more uh, um, a resistance, which um, eventually uh, 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 end up in a reversal of the trend. So now we're on our almost fourth market stress here, and uh, the envelopes are slowly starting to turn. They're still heading up, but they're slowly starting to turn. Our risk index is also in the red and has been for quite some time, and has just shown a um, new reversal with uh, the risk index moving well up into the red and turning down and now having almost left the red, which would be a sign of reversal. Now, uh, our targets have also been achieved. We had targets uh, between 135 and 137.68 and uh, we clearly met them. We almost made it up to 140. And uh, also we're seeing more and more of the banks coming out and saying, well, uh, they're expecting a downside down, down into the low 30s areas. A lot of people are talking about, uh, uh, well, if you have to put a stop, it's uh, above 140. And it seems like much of the market is, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, starting to position itself to the downside, which is probably a good sign or probably not a good sign because when too many, too, too, too many people start, uh, start uh, talking about a trade, of course. sometimes <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's already over. But I um, just want to focus here and I think the idea here is to go gradual steps. And as said, uh, we had a gradual step last week with, uh, as we went through the corrective targets, which uh, opened uh, the way down to the 136 levels. We think that still is the case at the moment. There's probably one or two weeks to go. And here probably a figure or so to go. Now, shorter term, we've seen an exaggeration. And I think if we could position that, it's probably uh, Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. Uh, we had an intermediate bottom. It's been reacting up. At the moment, it's only an intermediate correction. So uh, we've had a first move down, first correction up. It's probably not quite over, probably another day or so. And, and then the market or the euro dollar should resume its downtrend for another week or so. Now, the other subject I wanted to spend time upon today was uh, the, the S&P. Because it recently was reaching the 1900 level? Well, uh, we've been very bullish on the S&P for quite some time. Uh, but uh, we've also been saying that we think that uh, the month of May is going to be crucial, that we could see some downside, and that we could sh probably try to make it up above the 1900. Above the 1900. But we were pretty much uh, uh, into a position where uh, at least the daily targets were exhausted. If you look here, uh, we were well within the targets, well within uh, the red of the risk index, many stress points. Our targets were, were, were achieved. And on the weekly, although we still see some uptrend here, we could also see quite a lot of exaggeration here on the risk index. 
and uh, we were pointing out that this target here is a super impulsive target. So it's really aggressive target. So we might reach it in the future, but we believe we're certainly in a position to see a few weeks, months of consolidation. Now, is this the final top, or, or, or are we going to see a, a 2008-style uh, washout? I think it's too early to say. And also here, we need to monitor it um, as we go. Now, uh, interestingly enough, we did make it slightly above the 1900 last week. Didn't last very long, but we did. Uh, with quite a nice exaggeration here on the risk index and on, uh, and on the envelopes uh, on an hourly basis, and we've been correcting down. The next step we want to see is prices move below 1844. And that would be a first step in, in triggering this uh, several months consolidation that, that, uh, that may start to happen. So uh, uh, we think the risk reward to the upside is, is not that interesting anymore and that uh, we are entering a period of consolidation and we just need to see the Ali accelerate a bit to be able to confirm that. Now, uh, the other one we've been having a look at recently is gold. And I just want to touch on it uh, once again today. So we're still in a downtrend here on our weekly charts. And uh, we've been in a downtrend for now uh, almost 15 months or 18 mm -hmm. months. And uh, we still believe that uh, the correction that we've had since uh, December at the moment, at least, hasn't proved anything else than a correction. And so the downtrend is still in place. We think there's probably another few quarters. It's probably going to go retest the lows. Uh, now, in the meantime, uh, we need to monitor this move up that we've had since December. And uh, we've had a try uh, almost above, almost towards the 1400 level in March. And we really needed to reconfirm that to be able to uh, envisage a reversal of the trend up for gold. And for the time being, it's just not happening. And uh, the envelopes are heading down again. And what would be dramatic if, that <coughs> if we made it below the corrective targets here, back into impulsive mo mode down. And that would be below 13, uh, 12.32. Uh, we're not that far. Uh, we're still pretty far yet. Uh, we're in a per period of indecision and of consolidation at the moment, which, been, which has been in place for almost a, a month, a month and a half. And if we look at the hourly, well, uh, at the moment, it seems that we're going to have another try to the upside. We can see that uh, the risk index is uh, well oversold. Uh, not that much market stress, meaning the envelopes are not quite touching each other, but we're still at low levels. And uh, the envelopes are still heading up, hence this message uh, correction up. Now, in order to create anything meaningful here, we would need to make it above 1314, mm -hmm. which uh, we're still quite a ways away at the moment. And so, basically, still on a downtrend over the long term, the daily really needs to show some upside to be able to uh, uh, trigger anything else. And uh, a first step would be that the Aulis move up and make it above the 1314. It's not happening yet. So, it's a wait and see situation. For, for the people that uh, wish to get into gold. And, uh, and at the moment, that's still remain quite prudent. Jean-Francois, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching Dukascopy TV. Do stay tuned as we have plenty more interviews like this heading your way. Goodbye for now.